Hey guys and welcome to a new video. My name is Iris and in this video I'm gonna teach you the Stalder Press which was many times requested by people on Instagram. And I also wanna say that the Stalder Press basically builds up on the handstand press so you should be able to do basic handstand press movements. And yeah, if you wanna learn the Stalder Press only you will also have an easier time unlocking a V-set to handstand for example with straight arms and all of that. For the stall press, there are three important points. Number one are the shoulders and the triceps. Number two is the compression strength in your abs. And number three is your mobility. So many people, for example, that are already able to do, let's say, a planche, they have the necessary shoulder strength, but they often lack the necessary mobility. So this might be something you need to work on. Other than that, I gotta be honest, I learned the stall press by accident when I tried a straddle planche press to handstand and found out that it's easier for me to make my back round to get up and then I watched the video and found out it was a stall press. So there are different approaches towards this exercise. In this video I just collected five exercises that split the movement in its parts and I believe that it's probably the easiest way to really work on it systematically and if I would need to put the stall press in a coaching program of my own clients I would use these exercises. I would say let's split the movement in its part. So the first part of the movement is to be able to hold your legs in a straddle L sit at the height of your knees. You can train that by really compressing your abs as I do it here in this small clip. In particular this means now you start with your legs at the height of your elbow and then vortex per vortex you slowly start straightening your back upwards. Make sure to really not do it in one turn, but do it really vortex after vortex. That's really important, otherwise you won't make it up. Here's also one of the most common mistakes. You see, the back was straight. Now I try to make it a little bit rounder and tuck my head inside and suddenly I get up. Here you see the difference again. One side it's straight and on the other side it's bend it and that looks a lot better. So the right side is correct. A very effective exercise for the stall press is doing negative. So you want to start in a split and then you slowly go down. Again here make sure that your back is not too straight. You want to have it round to be able to really bend your spine. Here again from the front side the straddle should not be too wide. Keep it a little bit narrower and then you will get down easily. Here you also see why mobility matters. The second exercise that you can do, and that one is a little bit harder, is you start again in the straddle, you go down negative, but only halfway, and then you push back up. You can repeat this a few times. Trust me, this exercise is really, really exhausting. Even for me, doing the stall up press, it's tough, so make sure to take enough rest between your tries and really work on it concentratedly, because otherwise you'll just waste your energy. The next exercise is highly important. It will help you to build the necessary compression strength. What I mean with this is you need to learn how to compress your abs and really get that rounding in your lower back. If this doesn't work, trust me, it's extremely hard to get up. For the fourth exercise, you wanna sit down on your parallels and then press up. With this exercise, you wanna learn how to really push your shoulders down and make that up around back and additionally activate your core again. So again, you need the compression strength, you need the mobility, and you need to be able to have enough strength in your triceps and your shoulders so that you're able to do a proper protraction. The last exercise is a pure mobility exercise, and I know most guys hate this one. It's the famous pancake stretch. But trust me, it's one of the most important ones for the stall the press. The better your pancake, the easier the stall the press gets and the less strength you will need. Both static and dynamic stretching work here. All right, guys, those were the exercises for now. Of course, there will be many other exercises as well. I've seen people working with resistance bands on the stall the press, which I consider is not the best method because normally resistance bands help you to maybe understand or somehow get up in the movement, but they rarely help you to build the necessary strength unless you're in a really, really high level. So I would keep a distance from that and rather work with real strength exercises like the ones in this video. Other than that, of course you don't need to use parallels. I just find it a lot easier to do the exercise in parallels since it facilitates normally the balancing aspect. So that's why I always do the exercises in parallels. And in case 
you don't have any pralettes yet. Unfortunately, the ones on Garnation are currently sold out, but they'll be back on stock soon. And you can use my code IRIS10 to get minus 10% discount. You find the link for that in the description of this video. And one last thing before we're done with this video, in case you're looking for an online coach, somebody to teach you what I teach you in this video, feel free to DM me on Instagram. I hope you like this video and yeah, let me know what you think about it. If you have anything to add about Stoller Press and yeah, see you next time. Have a good day and bye-bye.